Welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. Here they are. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the one who kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to her. How often I wanted to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you were not willing. See, your house is left to you desolate, and assuredly I say to you, you shall not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This is Jesus. This is Jesus. He's crying. He's, he's very sad. O oh, Jerusalem, you kill the prophets that stone those that are sent to you. In the religious establishments, many times, what do we find? Somebody who comes with a true-hearted message is thrown out. They're, they're, they're canceled. They're pushed down. They're pushed aside because, because you're going to mess up the status quo. And we won't have any of that around here. Don't worry about it. Just go straight on. So Jesus is telling us, yeah, I'm up against people that kill the prophets. And Jesus was prophet, priest, and king, right? So yes, Jesus is going to be killed there. The saddest piece here is that Jesus wanted to heal. God wanted to restore and help, but they were not willing. They were not willing. And this is a, a danger for you and for I. Could it be that God's truth will come to us in a way we didn't expect it to come, through a channel maybe we didn't expect it would come from, an idea comes to us and we say, hey, hey, wait a minute. No, I'm just not going to go there because that's going to that's going to change my life too much. And we're not willing. God wants us to be willing. He's ready to help you. It's like the guy in the, the, in the Bible that prayed, Lord, I'm willing. I believe. Help my unbelief. It's the same as, you know, I'm willing. Help me to be made more willing like I should be. I'm just barely willing, but help me to be made fully willing. And may the Lord help us to be made fully willing of receiving receiving all that he wants to do. And Jesus knows he's going to die chapters ahead from here, but he's going to do God's work anyway. And he weeps over his, his future murderers anyway. And that's the way God's love is. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you. And we, we don't quite get this, but that you would even weep for and pray for and even work for the conversion of those who you perhaps see ahead prophetically. You know they're going to murder you, and you're willing to die for those murderers, those rebels. And those rebels include us. We have sinned against you, and although we've turned back, pray, we, we praise you for that. It's still amazing to us, the amazing love you have, that you're willing to give everything so that we will have an opportunity that we have not earned and could never earn. In fact, we've earned its opposite. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for opportunity, Lord, to return home. Now bless us as we continue in this day, returning home to you. In Jesus' name, amen. May your day be filled with blessings as on this day, as on so many others. You continue the journey to the kingdom and you continue returning home, all the way home to Jesus.